the antenna is the universal sensory organ of the insect world and the bee is no exception. Its antennae are in constant use exploring the environment for using touch, smell, taste and also testing for humidity, temperature and carbon dioxide content. This information is continually being relayed to the brain and influencing and directing the bee in its actions. The main parts of each antenna are the long flagellum. This has a number of separate segments, each surrounded in cuticle, each essentially a rigid structure, but jointed to the next annulus. There are a total of 11 of these in a worker and 12 in the, uh, and 12 in the drone. These do not have muscles between them and move passively from and move passively with respect to each other. The flagellum is then jointed to a straight structure known as the scape via an intermediate segment known as the pedicel. The pedicel receives tendons from muscles within the scape and can be moved as will be explained later. The scape is a straight rigid structure which lifts the antennae away from the bee's face and the base of the scape is articulated onto the face through a ball and socket joint which is moved by a set of muscles. Within the antennae there's a nerve, there are branches of the trachea and there's also circulation. But the most striking thing about the antennae is they are completely covered with sensory receptors which we'll be describing later. The drone has much larger antennae than the worker and the queen and the key role of the antenna for the drone is in detecting the queen in flight, in the mating flight. The drone may have to find a queen at some distance and some height up in the air and so has excellent vision and large antennae to do this and the antennae are particularly suited for smell. The total number of placoid sensilia as described later is about 15,000 in a drone compared to just under 3,000 in a worker. The queen's antennae are very similar to the workers. Turning to the internal components of the antennae, oxygen needs to be brought to the cells within the antennae which are metabolically very active and in common with all insects oxygen is brought directly through narrow channels through trachea rather than within the circulation and branches of the trachea run right through the length of the antennae. There's also a circulation of hemolymph to bring chemicals and nutrients and so on and there's a large nerve running the length of each antenna. The nerve carries for example 48,000 neurons taking sensation from the, the flat placoid sensilli to the brain so there's many nerve branches within the main antennal nerve. There are muscles within the scape, two muscles which are used to move the pedestal and so move the flagellum up and down. In the ball and socket joint where the antenna meets the face there are four muscles which control the scape which balances on a small projection just inside the opening in the head known as the antennifer. Turning to the sensory receptors over the surface of the antennae, the most obvious ones are the round plate-like sensilli known as placoid sensilli. As mentioned earlier there are about 15,000 of these in a drone and just under 3,000 in a worker. Each of these round plates has two to three thousand pores in it through which particles are picked up from the air and stimulate the sense of smell. Some placoid sensilli have a very narrow spectrum, for example the alarm hormone isopentyl acetate stimulates some particular sensilli, but many have a broader range and respond to many smells. There are also a peg type track peg type sensilli which may be important in taste that is a, a very similar to smell but a contact chemical sense. There are also depression type sensilli, coelaconic and coelocapitula which may be involved in temperature, humidity and carbon dioxide 
sensations. The, tra the hair-like sensilli over the surface of the antennae, known as trichoid sensilli, there are about five types of these, and some of these are likely to be involved in smell, and others in the sense of, of touch, as touch is very important in the uh, antennae functions. The final organ to mention is the organ of Johnson. This cylindrical organ sits within the pedicel and is and is attached to a membrane in the junction between the pedicel and the flagellum. It has two main functions, it's thought. One is hearing and the other is in detecting speed of flight. As the Sound creates vibrations within the flagellum which are picked up by this membrane and producing the sense of hearing. But also during flight, flight causes vibrations within the, the flagellum which are also detected here and help the bee to be aware of its speed through the air. Further details about the antenna and the structure of the bee can be found in the book Understanding Bee Anatomy. Further details are available on the website shown here.